What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're getting ready to send off some customs. I got a big custom batch here that I'm going to be sending off to get customized, and I wanted to showcase a little bit of what we got going on, man. We have a nice slew of customs here. We're going to go one by one through them. I can't give you all the details of them, but I do want to show them off and discuss them with you, man, so you guys can see here. We got the whole backstage kind of littered here. I apologize for the lighting. You know, I'm not really doing like a straight up, you know, just all, all, the, all the lighting right here, so I do apologize for that. And with the setting on my camera it kind of tends to like kind of trail off here but let's shut the hell up and dive into the row of customs here just kind of showcase exactly what we have going on here because I figured it would be it would make for sort of a discussion style chilling out hanging out relaxing all cool and I'll shoot some b-ball outside the school so the first figure that we have here guys is going to be an elite Seth Rollins you guys will see here we have like some different parts and stuff just chilling right here sliding is just everywhere right now but as you guys can see we do have the elite 93 now I went back and forth on this for a minute because because I didn't know what I wanted to do. If you guys have checked the aftermarket, you will know that the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins is not in stock anywhere, right? You can't find it on Ringside Collectibles. You can't find it on Amazon. It was in stock very shortly on Amazon and then bam, sold out real quick like. And I wanted to use the Ultimate Seth Rollins as the base, but I have since changed course because I was going to order like uh, probably four of these off Amazon just because I love how aesthetically pleasing this is. And don't get me wrong, the Elite 93, the Top Towns, whatever, this is also very very, very nice. However, when you're looking at like a custom that I'm trying to do here for certain activities, I'm, I don't want to use the Elite. I want to use the Ultimate. I like the addition of the butterfly joints, things like that. So I really want to use this. I think the proportions are better. This figure right here is definitely better than the Elite. But I quickly realized that this is the only Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins I have and I don't want to sacrifice it right this instant. And I always figured if I make the custom, I could easily slap the Ultimate Edition torso and stuff onto the custom. So that that gives me bright hope and so I was like you know what let's not sacrifice this now let's wait later so I'm actually going to be using this Seth Rollins to make what I want to make here so to make this gear that I'm trying to do and like uh, bring to life which would this will be the third time I've made the custom and you guys have never seen it third time is the charm and I think we got it going on so what I'm going to use is this crotch and thighs from this used to be like elite 61 Tyler Breeze we're going to use the lower legs from this AJ Styles right here that I had in my fodder bin I think to this is, I don't want to be crazy, but I think this is the two-pack from the, the TLC Finn Balor AJ Styles two-pack. I think that's what this is. I could be wrong about that, though. It may be something else. We also have these open blue knee pads that are from the Elite 66 Kurt Angle. And then we have some kick pads here that I, I kind of threw together because I needed some white kick pads. They're like these hybrid white kick pads. And then for the foot shape that I wanted, I went with these, like, Jey Uso Elite 30 or Elite 25, I think. I think it's like Elite 30 or 31 Uso figure. So there is the standard boots right there that we're going to use. So that's what we got for the first one. So it's basically going to be this Seth Rollins torso and arms and shoulders on those pieces that we just discussed. It's not going to be anything else. That is what we have going there. Sorry, I can't really tell you the inspiration. I can't really go into any more detail because that's just the way the cookie crumbles right now. Next custom that we got is going to be... Alistair Black here. Now, Alistair Black, this is the Elite 85 Chase Alistair Black, and this is the Supreme, not the Supreme, the Unmatched Series 6. I think this is the Unmatched Series 6. Went back and forth. At the end of the day, I almost went with the Supreme Edition, but the scaling just took me out of it, man. I cannot get behind that scaling. So, I'm either going to be putting these lower legs, knee pads, and kick pads of this figure over here just to see what it looks like. I'm going to play around with that. Or, I'm going to put just some standard, you know, Seth Rollins kick pads and then put some uh, Finn Balor kick pads onto the Seth Rollins like lower legs because that gives him a little bit of height jump and I want to have that height jump. If you guys remember, that's the formula I use for my Alistair Blacks. I don't like the stand, like I feel like this one's very, very tiny. So that's what we're going with there. The wrist gauntlets are perfect here. Everything's pretty much perfect except for the trunks and some other things that again, I cannot get into with you right now. But, and I know it's pretty vague, but these are just customs that are go being sent off to be worked on. So I, I just wanted to make a quick video out of it because I was packing all these up and I said, you know what? Brad, let's make a video out of this because I think it'd be interesting and uh, I like to discuss figs. So let's shut the hell up and move on to the next one. So this one's pretty self-explanatory and simple. We did this a long time ago on surgery, I think it was, but I did not switch out the shoulders. So all we're doing here, this is going to be a custom Pete Dunn from head to toe. I am going to be customizing this or getting this completely redone here. I love this Elite 64 fix-up, by the way. It's like the uh, Elite 74 Finn Balor kick pads with white wrist tape, double-jointed arms. All I need, really, is that, like, it's 
It's going to be customized. It's a custom fantasy gear. All three of these are fantasy gear so far. We're going to be putting the shoulders of this figure over here. That way we don't have like loose arm problems. It's going to make this figure look more aesthetically pleasing as well before it gets customized. So that'll be a nice little Pete Dunn fix up and custom there. Looking forward to this one a lot. I think this one's going to blow people away. So that, that one should be really fun. Next up is a custom that I was going to make a long time ago. And I never got around to uh, finishing it. And I kind of butchered the torso swap. I don't know how it happened. But pretty much just putting the Elite 87, I think it is. or Elite, No, it's Elite 88, I think. Elite 88 Riddle. I made this, like, team angle slash custom Matt Riddle here. So I took the Elite 66 Kurt Angle crotch and upper thighs and put Matt Riddle legs in there with white slides. I'm going to be getting the slides customized, and I'm going to be getting this torso and head over here on this body, uh, on this crotch here, and I, I look forward to the final result of that. I made that a long time ago. Never got around to finishing it, but I'm finally going to get it finished, so that that should be a fun one. Looking forward to this one. That's pretty, uh, that one was outside the box. All right, man, the next one is going to be one that I don't think I've showed off at all. I made this, like, randomly I think a couple weeks ago, but now I'm sending it off to get an Ultimate Edition Sting. You guys know it's probably what, what, probably my most sought after Ultimate Edition that cannot really be made right now is going to be Sting. So I am going to be using a plethora of different Sting figures put together. I think it was CMW Toys or something like that on Instagram made an Ultimate Edition Sting figure. And I looked at the parts and played around with it in my brain and I think I have the makings of everything except for the jacket that he used on it. But it looks beautiful, but I'm going to play around with some different head sculpts and stuff like that. So I got this like Legends torso here. I have like some head sculpts and stuff down here. I'm going to be sending off three Sting heads. Now, I'm sure that they'll probably we're gonna play around with some different face paints and hair i'm gonna send this one this aew one and then that beat up basic one well look at this beat up it looks like pennywise got in a street fight or something like that i'm gonna be using this one because i think that uh we can bring it back to life so we're gonna be using that one i think i'm gonna be using some parts from this aew figure and then i made this sting just the other day just chilling at the house man i was just sitting there looking at photos and stuff i did a hair swap on this defining moments head i put this on like the hall of fame elite or something Gave us some white wrist tape, hands, sting boots. Like it's a pretty cool figure. It's okay, but I think uh, yeah, I think it needs the best treatment possible. So we're going to be combining all of these figures together, and it's going to be a two in one. So we have like the double jointed arms here, and then we have the double jointed jacket arms from Bret Hart, and then I'm going to be throwing. I think it's like a Titan Tron Live Undertaker rubber jacket piece over it and convert it into like an Ultimate Edition for real. So that should be a really fun one. I'm very much looking forward to that and I think it's going to come together beautifully. So that, that should be an epic one. Next up is going to be a Supreme Fantasy Attire Kenny Omega. Now, what makes this one cool is that first of all, it's a Supreme Kenny Omega. I think this is going to be my first, maybe not the first. I did buy a custom Kenny Omega, like a Bullet Club Kenny Omega. I think it was like an unmatched or an unrivaled. Rivaled Kenny Omega. Haven't done a Supreme just yet, and I had so many Supremes and bases I wanted to use for it. I got some white knee pads here that uh, are going to get the designs removed from it so we can have white knee pads. And then we have like every Kenny Omega head sculpt right here just for making them uniform. That way you can put like all of them have like different hair colors and stuff like that right now. But I'm going to get them all customized to wear they have the same look or at least hair color. That way, they'll all be uniform and you can switch them all out. So you get all these different expressions is kind of what we're going for there. Really looking forward to this one. Should be over the top and nice. And it won't be complete, but it'll have some added bonuses and things like that that you guys can see at a later date. And then the last few we have here, guys, is just going to be an Elite 91 RVD. Just the base. I got the smaller knee pads here. Going to be another fantasy gear. Not too much going on there. Can't really explain a lot there because it's not going to be much of like part choices and stuff like that. It's literally going to be a just uh, a straight up repaint of that figure this one i'm really looking forward to and uh it is also fantasy gear all the i'm pretty sure all of these are fantasy gears from what uh from what i'm looking at here man we have this elite 92 cole i did give him the leg fix up and stuff like that this is the standard elite 92 cole really good base trunks here i put mr t sdcc boots on here because i have a, a cool plan for this guy you guys again you'll see it at a later date here but i'm really excited for the gold boots i 
think it's going to tie this attire together pretty damn good. And I have different knee pad options here to see which one looks the best, pretty much. So we'll play around with that one. We'll see what comes of it. But we got a few different knee pad options there for when it's all said and done. You're probably like, what the hell? Let, let your mind go to wondering, Brad. Let your mind do the work and go to wondering there. Last one we have is going to be a Top Talents Jeff Hardy. This figure is actually like 15 bucks on Amazon right now. So I figured I'd cash in and use this as a base for another custom that I want to do. So there is that one. And last but not least, we have a Darby Allen figure. Now, I don't know exactly what I want to do here just yet, but I thought about just getting him completely updated, man. Getting all the tattoos that he's got on here, right? So if you guys didn't know, Darby Allen has like 25 new tattoos, and he gets one every freaking week, and his figures are never going to be updated. So we're going to be updating this guy. That's what I want to do. I want to put the Life Ain't Grand tattoo, the sleeve here, the sleeve on the inside, like all of his different like head and neck pieces that he's got going on. And then I might, I may or may not add a custom gear slash face paint in there on top of it. So we will have to see about that. But Darby Allen's the last one. And I'm throwing in a skateboard to have a custom deck made. So that should be really fun. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. These are all going to be really epic. I can't wait to get these started for you. Don't know which ones will be shown off and which ones will be in the shadows and whatnot. But I figured, you know what? This is a good enough teaser. You know, I feel like this is pretty good to, to show off and show off all the figures that we got getting sent off to be customized and all that. Out of all the ones that I'm excited for, Kenny Omega is probably the, the one that I'm most excited for, but I think all of them are going to be absolutely stunning when they're all completed. And we will have to see about that. But uh, let's go ahead and round it up here and bring everybody together. I think you got a stellar roster here of really good talent, right? I feel like, you know, you put these guys on a roster, you'd make for a really good show. Kenny Omega, Adam Cole, RVD, Jeff Hardy. I mean, hell, you even got Pete Dunne in here. You got Alistair slash Malachi Black. Am I tripping on the scale, man? I just I just can't get behind this Malachi Black or this Alistair Black being that damn big. I mean, it just really bothers me. And then, you, of course, you have <coughs> your Royal Rumble winner, Seth freaking Rollins right here. So, that'll be cool as well, but... And then that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up, man. Gotta package all of these up, put them in individual bags and all those different things, but that is gonna wrap up this custom figure showcase the calm before the storm you might say so that is gonna wrap this video up, man hope you guys did enjoy before we get out of here huge shout out to the patreon members my elite 103 my top talents all that stuff is arriving today i do believe so be on the lookout for those reviews starting tomorrow if you guys are interested in becoming patron members click the link in the description below always huge shout out to the mdt patron members love those guys to death always appreciate their continued support and these videos would not be possible without their support but that is going to wrap this video up man hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts Thoughts on all these down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Never used that outro before. We'll never back down. We will not relent.